Welcome back to another video of TCG Card Shop Simulator. Anyway, let's play. Alrighty then, we have quite a few people here, so we'll just instantly open. My goodness. Everything is restocked. Everything is looking good. Um, we need to buy plushies. Or figurines and some spray, some pepper spray. Pepper spray those stinkers, you know what I'm saying? It's important that we get to do that at some point. You're a star. Stars. Two dollar. Goodness. It seems like logging out and logging back in will just make people pile up in front. And when you open up shop, it's like there's an overwhelming amount of people just waiting to buy all your stuff. Looks like we gotta buy this one. Star. <laughs> oh man, that's gonna get old real quick. Uh, round, that's fine. Three dollars. Well, we need that one as well. Oh, and that one. Then we buy it. The bat. No, we didn't. Twenty six. Hey, girl. Hey, you're pushing in. Okay. Should have give, given Booba a chance here first. Bye, have a great time. 17 bucks is fair. So hopefully the goal with this video is that... First of all, we need to get rid of cards. I don't want to sell cards anymore. We want to sell the packs of cards again, like I used to. That's the first thing. Uh, the second thing is to get a cashier. And to fill up this wall with products, like all the way down until the store. And then we pretty much using, oh my goodness. We're pretty much using all our space to the highest level possible. You see like that guy buying 17 cards of blue instead of like three blue boxes. That is a problem. So we're going to stop buying cards. Um, we need to buy this figure and this one. And what's this one? Oh, Booster Packs, this one. That's what you get for buying one product. Two dollars and you want to change though. He accepted it, dude. Like a champ. Okay, let's open up uh, two cards.
Uh, round should be fine. Round should be fine. Round. All round numbers, dude. Until we get a cast here that's like really fast, like as fast as we. And I'm not really fast though. Uh, then I will start to do other stuff. Let's open up a pack. By the way, every time you open up a pack, it restarts the uh, the system here for the doubles. Um, the way we're selling it, though. So it's a great way to... Nice. It's a great way to just, like... Make sure you have only doubles that you're giving away. Because sometimes, random, when you open up it, it, like, shows you the one, one, one. And then when you put it down, it's like, oopsie, well, it goes your car, dude. And I, to be honest, I don't really care much about cards. Uh, I just think personally that there's going to be a version eventually where we're going to play the game. And I think to have the cards will be very beneficial. Let's uh, start to get rid of this. We're gonna buy the boxes instead. I'm still gonna buy the cards, but I will be opening it. I will not be putting it on the shelf. So opening up cards like this, it's it's tenfold the reason why. Number one, it it's actually profitable more than more than just selling the cards itself. Uh, number two, it gives you experience every single time that you open up cards. So it's, yeah, it's really, really good. And I know right now it's like a compact shop, right? Wait until this is all the way down here. Then you'll see even like how crazier it will become. You bought three cards. catchy music actually uh, we need to buy red and blue we'll buy green also just to have it uh, it's actually accessories so red green and blue we still don't have yellow up do we i'm just gonna buy it oh well, that, that's a little awkward now. It's awkward. We'll, we'll be able to place the yellow at some point. I think I can still put it there. Uh, uh, not that, not even close to that yet. I think I can put one there. We can. So then we'll place yellow there.
There we go. Uh, so, plus 10% round. Okay, hopefully I didn't move too many boxes. The boxes is how I keep track of how much stock we have. It's not just the shelf itself. Hey, I'm a poet and I don't even know it. Okay, it's already 7 p.m. on day one of this video. A $37 card. Goodness, chill, dude. That is so profitable, by the way. Get like $30 or something for that. Restocking the red, right? Yeah, you did. So now that I know that there's a box there, so I can just look like this and be like, okay, where's the boxes at, right? And you you can see how much stock you have. It's actually easier to keep uh, an eye on stock like that. Thirty-one a dollar. How's our sprays doing? It's still good. By the way, this, buying this, I feel like is not profitable. Could have done, couldn't do that before. We'll never do that again. That's our first uh, person buying the yellow. Exact change, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. Make it 38, dude. Gotta type this one in. Ooh, there's an empty shelf here. What was here? Oh, it was my... It was this red one. Uh, this red one was there. Oh, it's 9 p.m. I didn't even notice. Uh, let's just make sure the cards is restocked. You see, like, right there. I open this up. It's set to duplicates, but you don't see. All of this is one. Uh, so if you just open up one pack, it resets the duplicates. So now again, it's two, three. You know, I'm on page one, so... That's why I want to open up packs uh, when we do that. Okay, so we're going to just end the day here, I think. Should we... Yeah, we should end. Um... Let's just pay the bills. Eight unhappy clients. Hmm. It's a bit weird, my buddy. 
like what what did i do wrong okay we'll open up a pack It feels like we're gambling, dude. Goodness, he just walks in and sits instantly. Okay, so we need flashies again. And that one as well. And stars. By the way, a tip that I got that I honestly think is true is if you get valuable cards to instead not sell them, but you make a case and put them in there, uh, since then, it feels like we have more people coming into the store, so I think it improves. Wow, gotta take what? It's a dollar down now. As the first client we have that bought the blue one. Oh. So user clients only coming from the front. Normally this was only the tables, so now we have this at the back. So they'll come from the side as well. I'm considering selling the workbench, by the way. I feel like it's just useless to package things up for $11. I mean, you're not going to use that cards anyway. They are worthless to sell, so you won't sell them, right? All of them have a price. Bye, buddy. Hundred and seventy, also a big buy. Doom, 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 doom. So we can move the purple over. If we can get the blue out of that corner get blue out of that corner put blue here move this one over to there then we'll have red over here then we have all four rarity of, of boxes uh, on the same spot
So I don't really have time to see what the clients are saying. It's another reason why I want to just stand around, open up packs. Looks like we need more yellow. Uh, it's accessories. Okay, let's buy. Open up another pack. So we can place cards again. I just placed them. You need some milk, girl. Goodness. Wow, we have a big queue. Yeah, the shop was never this busy before. Hey girl, are you on the system? I just need your phone number, your house address, your pet's names, your uh, bra size. That would be great also. No. Wait, no, you're not on the system? Why not, eh? Why not on the system? <laughs> Cheap card, what a bargain. Yeah, sometimes. That's all I can do. Make it one cent higher and you complain. You go from happy to sad, like extremely sad, angry. How long until the better higher out? Uh, let's see. Very fast checkout speed. Love it. Is he the fastest one? Yeah, it's the fastest cashier we get. So that's great. Get him at level 25. We're so close to it. I don't hit him with your bag, son. I'll smack that glasses of your face. Son. Okay, we can now start. <sighs> Maybe not yet. Wait, I'm stuck on stuff. But wait, there's more. Setting on three and a half thousand dollars again, dude.
kind of busy. Sitting on three and a half K, it's... Do we save it for the cashier or do we buy the license for the red boxes? I think we buy the license for the red boxes, yeah. That's way too expensive. Oof. Yowza. Okay, the price is market price, time 10% uh, round down. Boom. That gave me a fright, bro, not gonna lie. Also get us faster to level twenty five. Yeah, seems to be seems to be fine. Just buying one card. Be cool, dude. I think you gave me unlucky charm. You were my unlucky charm. He wants one of each bill. And it's 9 p.m. And we're level 25. Poor guy, bro. Why are you so lonely? Okay, red, yellow. So buy. Um, red and yellow, red and yellow. Red, yellow. Everything else looks okay. to literally get one of each box like I'm not even kidding before we do that we gotta pay our bills thousand four hundred so we can't make it not yet okay we're gonna end the day here seven clients not happy I don't know what to do to, to make them happy, dude. The number was 13.37. Spelling out lead.
Oh my goodness. A thousand eight hundred dollars, dude. And we're open. Uh, sort. Price. There you go. $1,800. To sort by duplicates. took a dollar extra there. Okay. They're buying more. He's like, no, no, twin brother, you go first. Dude, I'm busy opening those. Could you not? By the way, on that uh, figurine, we're making uh, roughly about $30 worth of profit. On this figurine here, this one, the bat, the upgraded bat, not the bat polishy, the upgraded one. What the heck? through the second policy in his bag, dude. Thank you, come again. We have enough spray. Dude, we need so much to restock. So we need that one as well. Why is there a gap there? Ah, because that's a new shelf we bought. Okay, so uh, we need to add uh, this one also. Okay, we'll buy. That's a big buy, bro. This guy is going to cry. That's how busy it's going to become now. is standing on top of me. Is that where the queue is? Whoa, 
Well, you thought that's where the cure is. Inside my booty. Seconds, huh? La, 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 la. <laughs> now pay me. Oopsie. I'll pay you, okay? Shut up and take my money. Um, oh. <clears throat> we need. We, we bought the red ones. Is it this? I think it is. Yeah, it is. So gotta buy more of those red ones. I think it will take one more box. But... You can see we gotta start buying dye also. <coughs> the third one... Accessories, third die. We need to buy yellow. Yellow. did buy it but let me just double check is it this one yeah it is oh cancel throw Now we gotta move the blue one over. Okay, how are we gonna move the blue one over? Sorry, but I kind of have to <laughs> get there. Okay, blue one's moved. Just an empty box. Okay, let's uh, buy the red one. Just buy it. Seventy dollars, dude. Okay, someone stood up, paid the paid the bills. Okay, we're, we need blue again. Um, it's over here actually, blue one. So expensive, though. Goodness.
Didn't we buy the third die? What is outside, buddy? Like, what are you doing? It's this one, right? Oh my goodness, bro. Do your job. Huh? I need to stock. Exact change. That's what I'm talking about. Another empty box. You also need to check what items you can buy at level 25. We also have to keep an eye on how close we are to the next event when it comes to the table. Everything has a price. Just like in real life. Everything has a price. We're decently full. Didn't I buy blue also? No, we didn't. Or maybe he did, and it's just like flying off the off the shelves. Oh my goodness! Look here. Ah, the price is good. What else did we buy? Waiting to see what else we could buy. Uh, we need to buy red dye. Uh, where is it? Should be here. So we're going to have two shelves open here. I don't know what I'm going to put there yet. Okay, we'll just end the day here. Profit is a thousand dollar. Come on, it has to be way more than that. We had a s extremely busy day. Buy yellow. Okay, let's just buy our stuff. And then we'll open two boxes or two packs. Two buck. <laughs> yeah, these jokes is why we're such a small channel still. Let's be honest. Okay, let's see. Now we can actually see this guy now. $2,400 to hire him.
Hey girl. She's also cute. She's my number two, I think. She looks smart. But girls that normally look smart just think they are. <laughs> right? It doesn't mean they are. I wonder if it would have an impact if we have like another whole area here. I think it doesn't, right? They would go there regardless how far away it is. Ooh, nice. Holy. Yeah, buy all the cards right now, because soon you won't be able to. We're just gonna sell the boxes. No more cards. Price is a set. This is my number three. This is my number three. I don't know where the number one is. We'll see her hopefully soon again. We did a buy a plushie, right? There it is, yeah. So we have it we have it in stock. So that guy didn't pay. We'll check now. Yeah, you see, so he's moving over to buy more stuff. So I, I honestly think for, for your shop, it doesn't matter how far away your items are from each other. They know where it is if you have it. And they would go across the world. Goodness, you love stars, don't you? Never again, buddy. You see, but he bought forty dollars of this, which is like eight of them, instead of buying two packs, two of the large packs. That's why I'm not gonna sell cards. I thought these unhappy seven clients we have on average per day was because we didn't sell, like, like, you know, cards like that. 
I just come to realize, you see that guy also, you could have just bought one pack. It's the same cost. But no, he wants to buy eight of the separate. And that just makes your teller and your guy that lays down the stock, you're stuck here. Is that the right word? Stucker? Like literally take four times longer to do their job. So people are not buying this, dude. Why is it 12? Let's make it 10. Almost out of another pack, which is great, because never again. You come again. Maybe that's what made them unhappy. Whoa, got, gotta get one of those. One of those. clicked thirty six dollars is one of each. Let's go, baby. I mean, if we wanted to, we could hire this guy tomorrow. And then cashier no more. In all honesty. Everything is stocked. Chalk and blocked. Don't even have stuff to buy. You can see over there, it's also... Oh, we can buy the star. How long till this one? Level 30? He's also cute. People are still not buying this, dude. What the heck? She 
should just pair on ones, you know what I'm saying? Blah, 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 blah. It's not a better. Oh, I gave the joke away. It's not really a good one, is it? This was probably our final blue pack we'll ever open. Potentially. So either we, we, you know, get our shelves done. It's pricey, I need to think a little. 16 bucks is fair. Fair price, I'd say. So he's just doing window shopping mostly. It's fine. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so what is our plan of action? Finish this first or start there? I mean, if you have the shelves bought, you might as well, you know, continue on with it. So what is the next item we get? We can get mats. We can start with mats. I don't know how profitable mats is. But let's uh let's start with it. Let's have a look here. Make it 20. It's actually not a bad price. So we're making how much? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Get away, dude. We're making $9 profit each. For a fair price. I mean, there's a guy gonna buy soon. Just open up one. We'll open up a lot more in the morning. Goodness. Isn't it a bit weird for you guys to do that? Why are you gay? You argue. He's walking back this way? Dude, you just came from there. They're just like bumping it off the shelf. He's still buying. Buying the shop, dude. Holy, it's still gone. Two forty-three. That's pretty good. Okay, it's just this one guy sitting here all by himself, sad about life. It's nothing I can do to make his life better, dude. Unfortunately. All right. So, we'll open up more. Should we hire this guy now? We can afford him.
Okay, girl, come in. Hey, <laughs> baby, come back. No. Let's hire the guy, dude. I wanted to bolt out the shop first before I hire the guy, but let's just do it. Heisenberg just joined the chat. <laughs> Where's my exclamation point, dude? Is it here? It's not here. So he's the fastest tiller in the game, by the way. There he is. Uh, man counter. Okay, we should not touch the counter again. Because his walkover region is over here. Imagine it's your restock guy. He would walk all the way there every time before he puts another item on the shelf. Just imagine, dude. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Bro. This guy is too fast. This means I can actually start making sense. Holy crap, dude. We can start... We can start pricing like we should. Instead of round numbers. We'll keep it round numbers. Look at this. It takes a while still. Yeah, he's, he's pretty good. Okay. Happy to pay him 300 per day. Goodness. $300 per day. Like what convenience score, uh, store do you work at as a... As a teller, dude. $300 a day. Okay, that's done. We still have two counters open at the back there. Still getting a queue though. Yeah, dude. He sold that queue so fast. He thought it's a Rubik's queue. I'm sorry for the bad jokes, dude. It's also weird that my microphone picks up me vaping. I don't know what I changed for that to to happen now.
I think I did change it so that my words don't get cut off every now and then. Because I was watching one of my videos and I was like, dude, my words is getting cut off. Like, not always, but like it sometimes happens. So I did make some minor changes. I keep forgetting, we need to look at the event on the table. X battle. Dude, we're 600 away from the next one. That's so much. $28 per hour. Okay, um... I did not steal my cards, dude. pack was worth a dollar this one also dude how worthless is these cards i wouldn't buy them also Looks like we gotta go, uh, gotta buy the green one. It's not it's not this green. It's down here. Okay, green. What else? Uh, we can buy those mats again. And we can also check how much the next map is. A thousand dollar. Let's buy it. Eighty-four dollar. Not bad. This only honestly feels like we're gambling, dude. Okay, wait a minute. Didn't I buy? Oh, we didn't buy. Uh, bu 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 there it is. Put everything on the shelf, but leave the box. So I can fold the bottom one as well with it.
You smell better, bro. He like hates it when he gets sprayed. Well, then take a shower. Final time, I open up that pack as well. Okay, now we can throw the box away. I did buy the red one, right? No, we didn't. We, we bought the blue one. So red. What else do we have to buy? Uh, looks like the final die. Uh, that blue and red also. Blue and red. Ooh. Final die. Um, this blue and red. Oh, no. I bought the license. It's only $100, but still. Why did I buy the... Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, there's the blue and red. Uh, that plushie also. And then I think also... The new mat we just bought. Almost bought a license for another one. Okay, we'll buy those. We'll pay our bills. We're making $11 and $9. It's actually not that bad, though, considering other stuff, like the plastic, for example. Terrible. Terrible profit on those. If we get like a lot more stock and the guy is starting to fall behind, uh, we must probably will hire the cheapest guy to just help him. Um, because his walk of origin is right in front of the place and then back. Will you just walk away, bro? He's one of those guys. I walk until uh, I work until nine. At least the previous guy we had, he stayed here until the last client leaves. That's kind of annoying. I don't know if it's a bug though, to be honest. I don't think it is. I understand the, st the stalker leaving, right? But the cashier... Okay, this is a weird number. So there's a... There's sense somewhere. by the red one again. Level 30, we can unlock the biggest one. Okay, we're gonna end the day here. Seven unhappy people. Nothing I can do about that. Pay $400. <laughs> okay, we need to buy uh, red cards for me. To open. Okay, both workers here will open the store.
He threw a box away, so we need to check which box it is. We already bought that. be those plushies bro they are flying off the rack honestly so much over market price and it's still like just flying off the rack and red one I mean, if you overbuy, it's not a big deal. And that red one also. Uh, the star. Uh, did I add it? Yeah, we did. bit overpriced, but let's see what people say. Bro. Oh, snap. It is here. Okay, I think we're fine. Let's just open cards. Show me the money, dude. Goodness. Buy red, right? That back was worth. And that one. Even that one was fine. Eight dollars there. Oh, 
112. A $50 car, dude. Hopefully people will buy it. Do we have orange outside? This is an empty box. We do have orange. This is more of my cards. There we go, there's my two packs. My two pack. My two pack. We have to buy the red one. Red, red one. Right, we should just buy. I don't know what I ordered before. Also pay our bills. $950 bills, dude. Yowza. People buying this now? Still not. What? Dude, it's undercut and it still doesn't. Try 63, dude. We can place more, actually. Oh, no. Okay, everything is priced. Well, this one isn't. It's a bit expensive, but it's whatever. Double rack. We should buy two. I'll just place them for now. I can't jump while I have this in my hand. We might be able to squeeze one more in. And then we're fully stacked. So what do we want to place there? I mean, we can do more. I mean, it becomes really expensive, though. More playing mats? This one is one and a half thousand. One next to it is two thousand, which is weird. Since it's both level 16 licenses. Can't really afford to get those right now.
Is this overpriced? No, it's fine. Those are still not selling. It's kind of strange. $123. That's pretty good. It's almost 9 p.m. The Nakashi is going to walk away. $200. Is not selling. It's like uh, are you walking, girl? Around the table. Ten dollar card. It's not bad. I guess we'll end the day here. Yeah, let's end it. Hey, then, happy clients. What happened? Is my stuff overpriced? Like this? We'll stop with the 10% on those cards. Unless we do sense just 10% and whatever price. But then we're gonna allow sense. This guy, the stiller is pretty fast actually, so he's doing a pretty decent job. Do we have blue? That's my box. Yeah, I don't think we have blue. Uh, whatever, I'll buy two of them, it's fine. I queued it up, but didn't buy it. Uh, we need purple also. We have a pretty good team with us now, that I could just like stand and open boxes the whole time. Accessories, green. Alright, let's check out the other side quickly. Uh, figurine, star, and bat. I think we'll buy. Uh, let's check out the figurines. Next one is level 30. We're still quite far away from it, but it costs $5,000, dude. 
Wow. That is a lot. Oh my goodness. But I'm sure that's gonna make bank also. Yeah, we're gonna at some point swap the shelves, I think. This one will go to the plushies once we buy out another section. And then this one is coming this way. That will be here. Like everything will move left when, when I move this one. So we'll just keep on, you know, buying the playing mats, I would say. Is a better option right now. You see, I think if I just ten percent, well, let's round it. But I think if I just ten percent it like this. People won't complain about the price. That's what I think. We bought those, yeah? Yeah, there they are. Finally. That was not a great set of 20. Or set of what, 8? Yeah, it should be a set of 8. you would know the card value in real life like you'll know a card is valuable because of how rare it is but how can you put a price tag to it this is something i don't understand about like pokemon cards or yugo cards and i have quite a lot of yugo cards but i when i played when i was a kid like to start a business with a with cards that's why i'm saying like supermarket simulators must probably like if i'm ever gonna start something it would most probably be around that you know not card games i feel like that is just way too risky I think if we just do flat twenty a uh, ten percent increase. That would be fine. We 
We have 3k again on us. But I think first things first, we gotta pay our bills first. $56, not bad. Waiting for that super duper rare card, you know? At least $1,000 plus. We won't sell it. It will. Oh, 140. Uh, it will go in the, in the glass cabinet. Because apparently, the the more valuable cards you have on display, the more people eventually join your store. That will hang around here, and I I, I can't really say it 100%, but it definitely feels like it. It definitely feels like it. That that is the case. Uh, let's do it, dude. Screw it. I don't think I have enough money now to buy the balls. We do, barely. Um, should be this, yeah. Uh, before we place it, let me just check. That was the... Yeah, so it's... Yeah. So the numbers is correct. Eat that box, bro. Plus, she will go there. I will buy. I think people are buying that. Or he hasn't racked- no, no, he's just standing there. That's so weird, because he should rack this one. There's two missing there. So he has work, but he's just- well, I mean, he's moving now. So the second dice. No one is buying the cards, dude. Oh, that's how it feels. But I mean, this still counts as cards. What's wrong with this desk? I 
like to rotate the other way. E. There we go. It had a seam there. There's still a seam, but... Is why ever? Huh? We need to hire a table dancer, bro. Do you think the nerds will like it? <laughs> I'll like it. Hundred and forty, and it wasn't near, so we'll be able to sell it. I think we're gonna open one more pack, then it's nine PM. And our cashier will then sing, fuck that shit, I'm out. There he goes. No, that's our stalker. There's a cashier going. The other guy was at least standing there. I wonder how you could tell that. Like, how can we tell it from this screen? This, this guy that's at the bottom now, he stayed there. Hire me because I play and know a lot about TCG. Do I get a card pack as bonus at the end of a month? I worked another shop a few months and gained experience, just finished art school. Uh, so I have time uh, for a while. It doesn't really... There's no indication. Is there a job opening for your shop? I love collecting cards, but money is tight now. I'm a math addict, by the way. You look like a math addict. Everyone's out of the store. Let's go. Five and happy clients. Not much I can do about that. To be quite honest. Um, there we go. There's the 150 card. Plus 10%. Wait, that's a different box? Oh. Something like that. Okay, let's open. Oh, rot. Oh, rot. We've like two left there. I think we're doing really, really good at the moment. Just waiting for that $1,000 card. Thank <laughs> you. 
Gotta buy more red packs, dude. Those are mine. How much does my bills cost? 950. Okay, we'll wait until we can pay for the bills. Ninety-nine cents doesn't make sense. We'll just round it. Twenty-four bucks. This is fair. Fifty-eight bucks. This is fair. Dices was way overpriced, bro. Should be fine now. I actually like having tables between the racks. Because we can we can stand up here uh, and not touch a box, right? So I wonder if we should do it also here. Like our tables go close to the wall, but like the racks will be all the way down. So we can jump up the table and change the prices without touching boxes um because the boxes indicate my uh what i have to buy pretty much so they put the box down right in front of it and be like okay there's this box goes here so we have extra you know and that's my way of stock taking in this game What's up, bitch? <laughs> Where if I walk down there now, I'll be touching boxes and like, no, it's just a mess. So I think we'll just space stuff better. I have boxes, like have a line down and the table will be, you know, a bit further away from the wall. can easily make stuff like that work. Maybe when we upgrade this place as well, we could do the same thing. But your last resort in this game should be upgrading. You shouldn't upgrade if there's still a place you can do stuff. Okay, it's parables. Goodness, everything was sold. Well, Okay, back to my job. Stand here, look pretty, and open cards. 
Like, if we can hire someone to do this, I would. I would rather be the cashier, but this is very important. Opening up cards is actually more valuable than selling it. There's so many reasons to open cards in this game. Number one, you can increase your popularity by having more valuable cards inside the showcase. Uh, number two, um, pretty much the pack pays for itself majority of the time, more often than not. Um, number three, it gives experience in the top right corner. Every time I open up a pack, we get experience. And number three, there's going to be a card game eventually in future updates where we can actually play the game. I don't know if it's going to be online versus people. I, don't, I assume it won't be. I think you'll just be able to sit down and play against customers. Because if I press escape here, you can see all the stuff on the right side. More shop products type, more shelf table uh, types, more TCG types, playable, playable TCG, uh, shop decoration, uh, grading card, difficulty mode, can sell old shelves, um, customer review app, customer trade cards, organized tournament, random events may occur. I don't know what the random events might be. It could literally be anything. Uh, a thief coming. Um, maybe a card event. Like it will make, I don't know, water cards for that day very valuable. Dude, there's a big queue. Goodness. That's over a hundred dollars, that pack. Split amongst three cards. Dude, he's so fast. Like, how is there a queue at all? It pays, like, especially when it's a card. He is way faster than I would ever be. Like, it's almost instant. I think um, why there was a queue is because of this that I'm doing. Like I'm putting down cards and put up a markup of 10%, right? So he has to pay cents. Whenever there's cash involved, they're fairly slow. But I still think he's faster than I am. So, blue, yellow. I think that's the third one. So, blue, yellow. And then accessories. Should be the third. Yeah, it should be this one. I will buy this one as well. The bat. Can't buy. We need a thousand two hundred dollars. $63 car, dude. Okay, back to my job. 
Okay, after open, opening this pack, we'll switch on the light for them. Another hundred dollar card. Or pack. Block me when I want to switch on the light, my buddy. Goodness. I think you get more experience when you have a new card. Imagine there will be an online version of this card game. That would be actually cool. But I think it would die out fast eventually. Hard to tell if it will make it or not. Okay, we should be able to buy now. And pay bills. I don't know if I did. I did. Okay, we need to check out the new... Uh, no, it's not this. Yeah, it is. It is this one. Okay, so 10% round. $28? It's not that bad. For item. Whoa, he, he went home, dude. buy something yeah no I gotta give him sense dude <sighs> oh, I thought he's coming okay we need to uh, accessories buy two of those Okay, everyone's done, so we'll end the day here. Making pretty good profit still, that's what I'm talking about. Can I just get an expensive card? Because like, I kind of feel like we have to get one soon, otherwise I'm getting scammed, my buddy. Uh, let's just buy the blue one also, this one. Wow, $300 for it. How much profit is it making? 14 only? Yeah, it's still... Actually ended here. This video is gonna end here. 
Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. It really does help a lot. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, have a great time.